to talk about a subject or topic you all read. You may all read, but I personally love. I'm here to talk about mathematics. And by the end of the talk, I hope you have a new perspective about the subject. So, I will start by telling you a famous mathematical story. In a mathematical class, the teacher asked all the students to sum up the numbers from 1 to 100. The students immediately started sum 1 plus 2 plus 3. But there was one student who immediately answered 5050. Do any of you know how? What could be his reasoning? That's a formula. He was barely 10. He didn't know the formula. How could he come across that? What his reasoning was simple. 1 and 100 sum up to 101. So to 2 and 99. So to 3 and 98. These are all, these are 50 pairs of numbers, all of which sum up to 101. So the sum is in fact 50 into 101. That is trivial. Goss went on to prove many more mathematical results and is one of the most famous mathematicians ever. He approximated the number of primes up to a certain number at merely the age of 15. The Gauss approximation is still in use today. Now, we all may not be able to replicate Gauss, but we can observe and admire the beauty and patterns he saw in mathematics. One of the patterns can be seen in many sequences. One of the most simple of which is the Fibonacci sequence. You may all know the Fibonacci sequence. It comes like 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. In this series, the consecutive numbers are found by adding the previous two numbers. For example, 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. This sequence produces so many unexpected results that you may not even believe it. The ratio between consecutive terms approaches the golden ratio. Do you see this fact? This simple pattern of comes directly out of the Fibonacci sequence. It is called the Fibonacci curve. You may have observed Fibonacci numbers in everyday life. The golden ratio in everyday life. The number of petals on a sunflower to any flower. They mostly are Fibonacci numbers. Let me show you something else. This is one single strip. You can come across the middle of a thing. You get one single thing. You did not get it into two halves. That's the magic of a movie strip. Can you do me a favor and cut it across once more? Now what do you expect will happen? Anyone? Any guesses? Huh? So you are saying one single strip will come out. Any other guesses? Two strips will come out. Two strips. Two different strips. Completely different strips. No. Well, let's see what comes out. Two interlock strips. They are two interlock strips. They are not separate, they can't be separate. You can't separate them without cutting across one. So that's the magic of Mobius strips. I would like you to explore them more. So now moving on. You may also recognize Mobius strips from Avengers Endgame if any of you have seen it. Tony Stark talks about them. What? Next I would like to show you, isn't this aesthetically pleasing? This simple doodle you may see, it, it may see. It is actually a simple formula and it is known as the Archimedes square spiral. Moving on. You know E, uses constant. It has a value of 2.71 and so on. I, I am a complex number. Pi is one of the most irrational numbers. But they all come together to form such a simple and beautiful equation. So that is what I want to talk about today. We must observe the beauty and patterns in mathematics. Mathematics is not just about computation. Even computers can do computation. But computers cannot admire the beauty and the patterns it develops. So that is what we as humans should be for. Now, you, you must understand that mathematics... Okay. So any of you, ask me a square of a number in the 50s. Any, any the square number. of 59. 59 is 3481. That may make me seem smart. But no, it is very simple. I simply did 50 plus 9 whole square. 
that is 2500 plus 2 into 50 into n plus n squared. That is a formula you all have learned in 8th or 7th or 8th. And that is the directly the result I used. So you must be able to understand how the computation actually comes. Do you get me? You must not just be able to know the calculation, know the formula, but understand how it comes. And that's where the beauty of math lies. Okay, you worked on the divisibility of rule of 9. See, it is actually very simple. You may all see it is the sum of the digits. But how do any of you know that? It is right here on the board. See, if you separate the numbers, that is what you get. This part is divisible by 9. You only have to check the remaining part. So that is 1 plus 7 plus 2 plus 8. That is what we have to do. That a similar result can be found for all divisibility rules. You can do that. And it's pretty simple. I found the divisibility rules of all the numbers in 5th, 6th grade and I, I had a lot of fun doing it. Now, you all are scared of it, right? Scared of it, right? It's cool. Okay. You, you like the subject, right? <laughs> You're not even scared. That's great. Now, uh, so, this, it is kind of the nightmare of students. The students I talk to, my friends, all are scared of it. They hate the subject because according to the school curriculum, we are given a fixed path. We are not even told how the things come to place, take place. We are just given the direct formulas. Well, I don't believe that is how mathematics works. Mathematics is based on logic and the ability to think. And the, one of the most famous examples of it is Sri Nevasa Ramanujan. An Indian who did not have any formal education. He had zero formal education. He did not go to college. But he proved one few of the most important mathematical results in history. His work is still admired. And G. H. Hardy, his, his academic coach, or you may say, and he believed that Ramanujan is the greatest mathematical mind to ever grace this world. But Ramanujan had no formal education. You may see Ramanujan's notebook there and now while I come to the conclusion, I would like to give you a few quotes. God used beautiful mathematics in creating the world. That is said by Paul Dirac, one of the most famous mathematicians and chemists. Mathematics reveals its secrets to only those who approach it with pure, pure love for its own beauty. That is Archimedes. So I would like to all of you, ask all of you, to explore the subject for its beauty, not the marks, not the school scores. For once, try the subject and just look at the patterns and observe it. So, no mathematical talk will ever be complete without giving homage to the famous Paul Erdos. So, remember forever, prime numbers are the earth. Thank you.